Adam Shelley in the white shorts. Oh, Hajin Dai in the black trunks. Just in case you were struggling to tell the guy who was born in Dublin from the guy who was born in Senegal. <laughs> ready, ready, guys. Ready. It's the shorts, bro. Nice and good leg kick from uh, Enjoy, uh, enjoy sorry, to, uh, to start. Well, you know, this is what we didn't really get to see from him last time. Adam Cullen exploded out of the gate and finished it early. So, you know, we didn't really get much of a look at El Hajjan Dai last time out. So, very interested to see what he can do here. He's going to have to deal with, uh, firstly, the physical problems here. Uh, Shelley, obviously, a very tall, rangy lightweight. Yeah, um, and if Adam can keep him on that, uh, on that extra length, it's going to be a long night for uh, Enjoy. But look to see Adam, yeah, just you know, walk that jab a little bit more, pump it out, even if you're not landing, just throw it out with some fakes. And he does like to swing that left uh, check hook as uh, Endoy steps in. Nice wizard. Yeah, beautiful work there to the very very nice. And he's going to step over into a very advantageous position now. So at the minute, he's just sitting in top half guard. Uh, uh, sorry, clamping down the position. I would like to see him either pass or posture up and start letting off some elbows and big strikes from uh, from the top. And Doi on the bottom, the left hand that he has around uh, Shelley's head, I would like to see him get an underhook and come up onto his side, maybe make a little bit of space, which is trying to deal with his, uh, his right leg now. Able to recover the guard there is game day. Now the one good thing about having Chris Fields in the corner is that you all, you always know what the game plan is because you can hear him shouting it across the cage. Nice short elbows there from Adam Shelley. The guard is way open there. I would like to see Shelley just back step up. He's out of the guard now, but even posture up and maybe get some hooks in. I think that's what he's going to go for now. I'm looking to get the right hook around. I'll throw some knees even, soften them up. This is good control from Shelley. And crucially, staying active as well, landing those strikes. And everything now in terms of the mixed martial arts scoring system is, is based on the, the damage you do, the offense. We're not looking to award these guys for controlling opponents or, or, or defensive positioning. We're looking for the guys who are trying to finish the fight in those big, impactful moments. Well, let's see if Adam Shelley can get some of those off here. It doesn't seem to be any urgency um, in the clean from and boy. Now we have broken away yet, but I would like to see him when he gets uh, when he stands back to his feet, sort of attack straight away. Nice shot. Very nice double leg. But like I said, if he's only scoring the double leg, he's not really scoring. And immediately back to his feet there is Shelley. Near the corner, ask him, him to look for that underhook, turn himself off the cage. If I'm Shelley, I want to split my legs a little bit more. I want to drop my weight and get my chin underneath. You'll see Andoy getting his chin right underneath Shelley. If I'm Shelley, I want to try and do the exact same to Andoy and get, maybe get the, the reversal on the cage. Yeah, maybe that's nice a slight disadvantage of being the taller fighter. Shelley at six foot two and Dai 5'11. Slightly easy for him to, to get that good head position in, in those clinches. I mean, these are good takedowns, but he's not really doing too much. Um, if anything, really, there's no strikes coming off the back of them. This is actually really nice walk from Shelley. He's just keeping composed. He's not really letting uh, Andoy tee off on him from the decent position. So, really good walk. Yeah, Shelley, yeah. Make some space here, maybe look to fire some knees up the center. He's going for the body lock now. And you hear Chris Fields asking for those knees to the body in that position. Or if you're Shelley, break away. You're a striker, you're a kickboxer. Just get off the cage and start teeing, up, teeing off. Come on, come on. 
uh, as you said, Paul, during the walkouts, you know, we saw him fight James Power last time out in Belfast, and he did get stopped in that fight. Is there a, a potential here that he's maybe just being a little bit more cautious in this one? Maybe, but uh, James Power wasn't um, trying to wrestle him. Um, he wasn't trying to take him down, he was trying to take his head off. So maybe just played the wrong game plan against James, or, 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 or that's it, but I would like to see him strike a little bit more with Endoy here. Another interesting thing as well is uh, El Hajj and Dai, some of his earlier fights were fought under the old French rules where a ground and pound to the head wasn't allowed. So, you know, maybe that's an adjustment he's still trying to make here. And Kicks not the only body that, from Shelley. He, would have, he would have fought on the rules where uh, takedowns were scored massively. Shelley able to get his man to the cage right in his own corner and, and Dai... Wrestling back now. Yeah, I think maybe as Connor said to Shelley, you know, you, you had a bit of success with uh, being in the top position on the ground. Nice trip, and I think he's going to look for some more of the same. Guard wide open here, look him to pass over into mount. There we go. Just needs to settle down. I think he's going to look for a cross face here. Push his man back to the mat. Oh, good work from Alhaj and Dai on the bottom there. Nice separation from Shelly, and here we go, starts teeing off. Dai happy to trade punches here, but he's got to find a way in. Yeah, I don't think Shelly wants to get into a brawl. No, I think Shelly wants to keep it nice and, nice and clean, nice and crisp. Straight punches, long, rangy. There we go, nice kick to the leg. You know, he came up a little bit short with that takedown attempt and, and the punches that followed it, so maybe it's time for Shelley to start making him pay for those mistakes yeah and I think he wants to take some of that um, you know that force round strength out of uh, Endoy too um, and see how he gets on in the in the second round in the clinch I think Endoy is a little bit thicker so he, he might gas out a little bit sooner Chris Fields imploring Shelley to get those knees to the body and they think their opponent's tired here and Chris Fields calling for that body work to really capitalize on that the clinch is nice, and he is staying busy with low knees to the inside of Endoy's leg, but I'd like to see him finish this takedown and maybe get some ground and pound going. Shelly's corner calling for the break there. He's going to have to find a way out from under his man. Oh, nice elbow there to the side of the head, but another takedown from... Well, Hajin Dyer, and he's got to do something here, Paul. We're halfway through this round already. He's down on the scorecards, and he's got to do something with this takedown. Yeah, I just think he's concentrating on the takedown too much, and he just don't think he, want, he, he seems to want to or know how to advance the position from here. He's burying his head into the side pocket of uh, Shelley here, and Shelley's letting off um, competent strikes. You know, they are landing, they are affected, um, and Dyer, so... Not really too sure what Endoy is trying to accomplish here because it doesn't seem to be going for it. Corner calling for Shelley to get his hip on the mat and, and stand up. It looks like he's going to be able to do that and come out on top here. Beautiful work from Shelley. Nice head position. And again, the corner calling for those knees to the body. That one landed flush. Shelley separates now, looking nice and loose. Snaps his man's head back with a jab. And Doyle looking tired here, standing up too. But nice shot, a little bit lazy. Who gets it nonetheless? Well, gets in on it, I should say. Shelley back to his feet off that failed takedown attempt. corner of Adam Shelley they're calling for the finish they don't want a points victory here they want him to start doing some damage we saw another nice knee to the body there from Shelley yeah, this is a nice walk here if you can keep this uh, on the fence get that head position in maybe break away a couple of shots and then be clinch making it making a dog for you for the rest of the, uh, the rest of the round You know, the more tired Ohajin Dai gets, 
the sloppier those takedown entries are going to be and, and the bigger an opportunity he's going to have to make Shelley pay. Tries to get him off his feet there. Nice wide base from Shelley. Yeah, I just don't think there's too much offense coming off there and these takedowns like we were saying. And so I really don't think he's, he, he, again, if he stays like this the next 10 seconds, that's, he, he's down two rounds in the bag, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I did see Adam Shelley, maybe I, I, it looked like he was looking up at the referee there, and that, that can sometimes be a, a bit of a sign of frustration. So his third pro fight on Cage Warriors here tonight. Defeated Stephen Hooper in his debut by a TKO. That's a very good win on his record early on in his career. He looks nice and light on his feet in the third round, but so does then do it at the minute. And there we go. There's some of the striking I thought I, I, uh, I thought he was going to come out with. And Dai looking to be a little bit more aggressive in this round as well. Surely knows he's got to get a finish here. And yeah, I've also seen him when he's on the back foot here. He's, he's getting within about six, seven inches of the cage and then circling him off. You see him, there he go. And he doesn't want to get involved in that clinch walk on the cage. He's backing up, he's backing up. You'll see him spin off a left or a, a, a check hook, I should say. There you go, very nice. Maybe not the check hook, but certainly a spin off. He, he, he's very, his cage awareness, I should say. And um, backing up is really good. Nice combinations. This is what we want to see from Shelly. Nice jab there from El Hatch and Dai, though. He's not out with this, he's not out. There's that check hook step off again. You know, Shelley's using the fact that he, he does have the better gas tank at this stage to really make use of the real estate in the cage. Yeah, Stay on his bike here. I think he's starting to mix things up really nice now. Hands, legs, hooks, jabs. Nice stuff for the takedown. Shelly digging those knees Very to the nice. body and there's the trip. Shelly in a really advantageous position now to start landing some ground and pound. Taking advantage of the depleted gas tank on his opponent. Comes out on top. I'd like to see him just switch his hips and pass over to the side. Nice. Right in front of us here at the commentary position. El Hajj and Dai back to his feet. Adam Shelley looks to separate here and he does. Still two totally uh, uh, left in the round. I think there's plenty of time for uh, Shelley to walk. He's mixing up his attacks here, going back downstairs with those leg kicks. But I do have to uh, say I am impressed with Ndoy. Like he is coming forward. He is, uh, in my opinion, he's down two rounds. But He's coming forward and he's, he's meeting halfway. Nice kick to the body, then one to the inside of the lead leg there from Shelley. Nice jab. Beautifully scouts the takedown. I thought it was a lazy shot, if, uh, if I'm being honest. Well, a, a fatigued shot. Yeah, there's certainly not the same kind of snap on the movements from El Hajin Dai here in the third round as there was in the first, but it's been a, you know, a pretty high-paced fight. There's been a lot of grappling exchanges, and you know we see this all the time, Paul. When you're getting those takedowns and your opponent's repeatedly getting back up, it's mentally draining as well. Yeah, <laughs> you've no idea. You've done all that hard work to get the, this guy down to the ground, and he's up two seconds later. It's, uh, it's so destroying, especially this late in the round, uh, in the fight too. Shelly looking very confident there, hands nice and low, using his head movement to get out of the way of the return fire. I would like to see Adam just sit onto a right hand when he throws that jab, even if, it's, even if it is on the back foot, I, I do think it's there. And I think if you're, uh, if you're an Endoy, I think you really just need to go balls to the wall and just, you know, do something. No less than a else. minute left in this third and final round. And Shelley already finding a way to get back to his feet here. 
no sharp punches. Still trying to get this takedown, takes another big elbow. Good defensive work here from Shelley, keeping that base nice and wide. Making him pay with the short elbows when he can. These are nice elbows, really nice from Shelley. Again, uh, and, and Dai just not doing anything from these top positions, barely landing the punch. And that's three solid rounds for Adam Shelley in my book, Paul. I'm sure the judges will see it the same way. Yeah, I'd have no arguments with that whatsoever, put in. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges score this bout 30 27 in favor of your winner by way of unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Adam 